Before we get started, I want to say thank you guys for over 1,200 subscribers. We're going to roll here. All right, COVID cases right now. Today is the 20th. Yesterday was the 22nd. In the seven-day average, there were, 100, there were 111 new cases. With 6.54 million, 6 million, plus over 6,600. 84,095 deaths, plus 197. In the state of Texas, New Oasis County, 1449 deaths with almost at 91,000. In the, since February 15th, the seven day average, there's been 1,047,542 tests, 7.9% positive, <clears throat> with 82,056 positive. Hospitalizations, 59,077 people hospitalized. With over 11,987. So, vaccinations 59.8 been fully vaccinated with 17.3 million, and 20.5 million have had at least one dose, which is 70.7%. We're almost at 100% of 100, we're almost halfway to 100% of people of 100% who had at least one dose. In the U.S., 551 million doses have been given, 214 million people have been vaccinated, and over and 65% of the population has been fully vaccinated, which is some good news. Which is very, some great, very, very great news for everyone here. It's like. It's kind of like this being if we all have to follow the tips we gotta make sure we're all being vaccinated but the quarantine thing i want to discuss the quarantine a little bit if you're quarantined if you have if you're if you think you got covid you need to let your boss know you need to let someone know if you work you need to let your boss know beforehand so that they can understand also you also got to make sure you need to make sure that when you're quarantined you don't leave the house. You can play video games. You can watch TV. You can watch TV, play video games. Talk with your friends. You can do anything when you're quarantined. There are lots of things you can do while you're quarantined. What about in our local schools? Let's look at yesterday. <clears throat> well, yesterday was good. We're seeing a lot of zeros with one for primary and at high school, which is great. The total cases for February, 22 for high school, one for high school staff, 13 for junior high students, zero for junior high staff, way to go. Nine for intermediate students, two for intermediate staff, Four for elementary, seven for elementary staff, nine for primary students, two primary staff, two uh, ECCs, zero ECC staff, three transportation, <clears throat> and two and two for the district, which is good. So East so independent, so intermediate staff and ECC staff, you guys you you you're doing great this throughout the rest of this month. Keep up the great work. Keep up the great work and maybe we can all get back to doing, doing the things we love to do. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this one. In my work, I'm not, no, I'm not going to disclose any information because I don't want to put a bad face on them. So, yeah. I'm not going to disclose any information. I'm not going to disclose any information because I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want them looking at this episode saying I'm putting, putting bad press on them. But until that time, we need to make sure that we're doing what we always do. We need to make sure that we're wearing our masks. And if you wear the mask the right way, you can't get COVID. Cloth masks probably work. Those surgical masks with the middle end 
Those work good also. Um, um, Matt, I mean, N95 works great. Cloth mask, I would avoid those, but if you gotta wear them, you gotta wear them. Social distance, six feet. You're in school, well, make sure you, they, you follow those same rules. You also gotta make sure that you're, that if you're get, if you get COVID, you quarantine immediately. Stay for five days, that's the fifth day you get tested. If you have vaccination, if you got vaccinated, make sure you get vaccinated. If you lost your vaccination card, make sure you let them know that's for replacement. Wash your hands, sanitize your hands. Very, very important. If you're riding transportation, it's the same thing. When you're riding an airplane, same thing. If um, you're under two, you cannot wear a mask. If you're five, if you're, probably everyone's taking vaccine, but if you're five, you should be able to get the vaccine. If you have a medical condition where you cannot wear a mask, just let them know beforehand. Let them know. Let them know beforehand. Is it violates the ADA, the Americans Disabilities Act? Let's be safe and try to understand when you get back to home by uh, getting ourselves vaccinated and testing negative. Okay, coming up next, Jeff Bliss. You may know this kid. Back in twenty, back in May of twenty thirteen, he made an explosive rent. On this teacher for handing out a packet. You want to get them excited about all of this. But was the teacher punished or was Jeff Bliss punished? We'll give you his take. And then later, latest from the and later the latest from the Oxford school shooting. Latest from the, from Ethan Crumley himself. We'll give you the very latest since yesterday, a bit later in the show. Stay with us. Let's go to Dunville, Duncanville now. You may have heard the story back in 2013. If you never heard of the story, let me give you a little backlog. A student decided to make an explosive rant. He gave a lesson to his teacher because he because she gave him out a freaking packet. Let's watch the video together and then I'll explain to you along the way. Pomodos, we're all about 599 variety. Pizza and other things. So let's take a look at that. Hello, everyone. Have a day. I'm Steve Bingers, 9 o'clock, Duncanville ISD. So let's take a look at this. School district supports him. One minute and 27 seconds was all it took for Jeff Bliss to get his point across. You got to take this job serious. This is the future. 
future of this nation. His tirade went well beyond the hallways of Duncanville High, going viral through social media to news outlets across the country. It really is just a normal day, but when Jeff came, everybody was like, woo, in the hallway. And I just started laughing because I knew what they were screaming for. It was funny. Actually, it's an official one, too. While most of the student body hopped on the Jeff Bliss bandwagon, understandably, some teachers didn't, requesting no mention of the video in their classes and telling students to put their phones away. But the Duncanville superintendent puts a positive spin on the PR problem. And I certainly agree that the student could have handled the situation in a more appropriate way. The content of the message is a, a conversation we like having in our district because we're all about the engagement of young people in 21st century learning. Bliss didn't know he was being recorded. Just get mad if you point out the obvious. His speech went unpunished, but his teacher was put on indefinite paid administrative leave, even though less than 10 minutes after it occurred, the teacher cared so much about her student that she went down the office with the assistant principal while someone else watched her class. And they had a conversation in that office with the principal that came to some agreement, and the student came back in the class later in that same class period. Dr. Alfred Ray wouldn't confirm if the teacher cursed at Bliss, as he said she did. While it she was Jeff who cussed. Her he said the B operating procedure for any district employee under investigation. If we determine that there was any employee misconduct, whether it be the thing that you mentioned or whatever there may have been, then we will deal with that with the appropriate level of consequences because we're not going to tolerate inappropriate behavior on anyone's part. And when you come in here, like you did last time, and make a statement about, oh, this is my paycheck, and indeed it is, but this is my country's future and my education. Calvert Collins, Fox 4 News. All right, Jeff Bliss and Mom Rhonda are with us. Welcome, you two. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. Jeff, uh, earlier I called. Now, his mother, his mother watched the video, and to my, and to the, Somebody else is surprised the teachers weren't happy, but his mother was was extremely happy. But as you might expect, this could be one of the most rantest things ever. He made a statement to the teacher saying about this, pack it this, pack it that. But nothing, nothing would solve a problem than when an eighth grader argues with an adult. For those who never heard of this video, nine years ago, back, this was back in January 2013, which was two months before, before this, before the Jeff Bliss incident, there was an eight-year-old, not mind you, an eighth grader, not eight-year-old, an eighth grader, who argued with a teacher, and he didn't, and again, he didn't know, he didn't know he was being recorded, unlike Jeff. So what was this argument about? Well, well, well when, we, when we return, we'll give you the two-part video. One that was a minute 37 and one that was 14 minutes and 36 seconds. Mind you, this is all in two parts. As classroom confrontation continues. Stay with us. Today we're focusing on classroom confrontation when students just made arguments about how the teacher's teaching this and that. So far, we've heard from Jeff Bliss. But now things turn a little different. This was, this, back in January, back in January 2013, an argument between the student and teacher. Now, this is all about what the teacher was doing, this and that, this and that and the other. But was it on the media? I don't know. This got viewed almost 600,000 times. Take a look. A yes, man I missed did. something and said, yeah. I did. I did. Most of right. the times I did. Okay. But guess what, though? That's all right. Okay. That's all right. Who said anything was wrong about that? You, you did. You talk, talk shit more than talk anybody. Talk no. You talk shit. You talk shit more than anybody in here. Anybody. Can I talk? Anybody. I let you talk. I let you talk. You talk shit more than anybody. I let you talk. And I mean, every time I talk You talk more than anybody, too. We like to talk too much because all you do is talk. All I do is talk. That's all you do is talk. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. What if you have them in your life? They're still here. 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 There's people who just got here five days ago who have done more work than you've done in the past 30 days. That's true. That's true. In the past 30 days? Really? Because I recall the last 30 days me busting my ass for you. It's not for me, I told you. It's for you. You could have been out of here. How am I a bitch? You talk, you talk shit. Talk me about it. All right, you're talking. You're talking to your face. But you talk shit behind people's back. You used to talk shit about Brandon behind his back. I never talked anything on Brandon. What did I say about Brandon? Tell me one thing. What the fuck? 
warned you this has to language. If you have children in there, don't let them watch it. Now, this is part two. Now, that was the minute version. Now, here's part two.
this up here. So he's got a minute time raid, and the comment section. I'm just gonna. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna play you guys the whole whole part two. What I'm gonna do. Is uh is uh read you I'm gonna read you what I'm gonna read you the comment section and this one really surprised me so And what, I'll read you the comment section when we come back. You know, some time ago we were looking at this kid who was arguing with this teacher about this, this, that, and the other. And there were some comments during this during this video four years from during that video, there were a lot of comments, and some I had to agree with. Like he was very emotional, like going all this and this and that out in the streets. And this one was seven years ago. I love how one minute he's so tough. Like, I gotta watch him back in the street. I'm a savage. And he's like, if my mom let me out, lets me drop out, I will. But if not, well, it is what it is. I'll wrap my way up here. I ain't afraid to be broke. The bottom line is this. Let's not let's not get into it like these two did. Between this guy and this guy. Let's try to be nice. Respect our teachers. We're kind of their boss because we pay them with our tax dollars. Our tax goes dollars go to teachers' raises. It goes to the kids' future. It goes to whatever to remodeling, etc. We're kind of their boss. If you could say that, remember that hey, we're not there, Patrick, I'm not I'm making a statement here. It's just how it is. So let's respect our teachers and not end up like him and him. Let's be respectful. Friday, depending on the weather, outside the soccer game, sports fights. Referees trying to break up the fights. Last week I gave you the types of fights, from high school fights, to fast food fights, to fights you see in your neighborhood, to street fights. It's one show you don't want to miss. It all depends on the weather. I'll give you guys an update on the community page on my channel. And the question for the day is this. Would you get into arguing with a teacher? If you were an 8th grader, would you get into an argument with a teacher who talk crap about you behind your back? That's the question of the day. So I'm going to have it posted on here after this video. So make sure you vote. And I'll let you results on Fridays. Give me a break. Depending on the weather. That's all for this edition of Give Me a Break Wednesday. We'll see you again for Give Me a Break Friday. And if you like the set, if you like the set, well, I'll keep on doing this every now and then. If not, I mean, I usually do it in my office, but it's been almost two years since I've reported from the living room. So if you do like it, let me know in the comment section, and we'll see what happens. Back to do it back in the studio because look at this. This is like look at this. I got I got a music stand here. This is like nightlife to me. This is like I'm Ted Koppel, and this is nightlife. So what do you guys think? Leave it in the comment section below, and I'll, and I'll try to get back to that. For all of us here on YouTube, have a good night. Have a nice day.